by Walmart. It's February here in Central Oregon and they just got loaded up with their new boats. So uh, some of the same ones that I did a video on last year, but I thought I'd go through these quick and let's see what's new. Uh, they still have the Lifetime Yukon right here, which actually is a lot of boat for Walmart to carry. Full frame chair, sit on top. And we went through that in the last video. And then back to the Tamarack, but I'm really excited. The Tamarack Angler, I've done some videos of this and it is a really great boat. Uh, the Tam Tamarack Angler 100, they also make a Tamarack Angler Pro that has a frame chair, but this is the standard version. They've got it priced at 329. Let's take a look at this. All right, I just like this hull. You can check out the video on the channel where I review this on water. They give it some cool little highlights with the orange that I really like, um, but pretty full feature. The paddle, you know, kind of a throwaway paddle, but it'll get you down the river. I definitely recommend upgrading to something like an Aquabound Stingray fiberglass. It'd be a nice match. Probably a 230 centimeter center, uh, paddle. They've got a paddle park right here, handles on both sides, which are nice. These handles have held up well. One of the major complaints that you'll see people um, talk about and just something to pay attention is this little clip slides in and if you're not paying a lot of attention, it can fall off. And these straps are very smooth, which is nice on the hands, but things can slip. They've added this little double buckle that they looks like they've upgraded, but it also can come off right here. And um, it's not a problem if you lose these with Lifetime, you can just email them and they'll send you more. And it is nice that it's not sewn on so that it can be replaced. That's the benefit of this, is that everything can be replaced. The downside is you can lose them. Uh, they've added this clip and this as well can be an area that, you know, is kind of, uh, can come loose. Uh, but again, all of that can be replaced. Tank well is pretty basic. The hatch is a basic access hatch, but you've got the cup holder. I mean, it's well thought out. It comes with a rod holder. So you've got that right there and you have two flush mounts. But just overall, the hull is nicely designed. It has good tracking, a nice defined stern right there and a good bow. Um, we got it into some waves on a video and that little sunken bow can get a little bit wet. So not a boat that you're gonna take out into big open surf, but a great for around here, little lakes, rivers, the Tamarack angler is a really cool boat here we move next to it with the tahoma this is basically the exact same hull just not anglerized for 261. um you know just for a little bit more you do get more and uh you though know, again if you have no intention of fishing you can go with the tahoma if you're a larger paddler or you want to haul more gear or get out into bigger water look at the yukon uh, i'm gonna buy one of these this year and get it out on the water and they've got a whole fleet of tamaracks and then we get over to Pelican and it looks like what they're carrying a bunch of this year is a boat they call that Ledger, 38 pounds. And so what it is, is more of an open cockpit, sit inside style boat, uh, $315. And I haven't paddled this boat. They're saying it weighs 38 pounds. That's one of the cool things with Pelican with a capacity of 275 pounds. Um, and it's a 10 foot sit inside. So just looking at this, one of the things it does have sliding adjustable foot braces, but these are a little bit more basic. Um, they seem to work just fine. Uh, the flotation, which would not save you in any deep water, is just basically that white style foam along either side. And then you do have two little rod holders. And then this hatch is of course not a dry hatch and it's just formed down in. So on surface, you're like, oh, it has a hatch. And then you see that they just kind of, again, press the plastic down and you just have a spot to put a couple things, probably as much aesthetic value as anything. But, you know, it does give you a place to put a little dry bag. I would probably just keep my dry bag up here in front. They also put this little cup holder here, which, you know, so many people ask for. Um, it's a nice feature. I happen to like just having my bottle in my life jacket always next to me. And then one thing to really consider with Pelican is they're never going to get a really great skirt bite right here. Um, because of the way that they form these, which are twin sheet thermal formed, you're never gonna get aggressive skirts. So wearing a skirt on this is pretty much impossible, very difficult, and wouldn't hold up to any rough, rough water. They've got a lot of them. We've got this lone lifetime charger. I guess I'd say this is kind of their answer to that boat um, with an open cockpit. Uh, you have a little bit better thigh padding here. And these look like they're on pretty well. They slide on, pressure fit. This one does not have that. 
So this is a little bit of a sharper area. The foot pedals here are more basic, just formed in, but you know, $245, so a little less. Um, seat pad, pretty basic foam pad. They do give you better foam, slightly better foam for flotation. No rod holders. I actually like this tank well better than the hatch. I find it more useful, easier to put a bigger dry bag. Same capacity. It looks like it's a slightly shorter boat. I think this is just under 10, uh, maybe it's just at 10 feet still. Uh, capacity though remains the same. And again, you're not gonna get a skirt. In fact, this doesn't have any sort of bite. So a skirt is not going on this. But if you're just wanting to do kind of little lakes and you want a little more room for the legs, maybe put a little dog in front of you or have a little dry bag or fishing gear, charger's a nice option as well. So 245 versus 315. Paying a little bit more, you're getting these thigh braces, get the cup holder, you get a little bit better foot paddle, a little more longer seat pan in this Pelican, slightly shorter seat pan, probably doesn't make a whole lot of difference. I think, again, on the wind, the charger, that area is actually nicer than the hatch, but you do have two little basic rod holders there. So appropriately priced, it's just kind of what you want to do. You know, saving an extra $60, $80 could really match a nicer paddle with this boat. But if you're after these features of the rod holders or you need that cup holder, uh, that's what you're paying for and a little added thigh padding right there. It looks like they have a new sit on top here uh, for $239 from Pelican. It's called the Boost 100. Um, this boat, I really think the Tamarack for slightly, just a little bit more, or the Tahoma here at 245 with the paddle is such a better choice than the Boost. Um, again, you just basically have a very basic, you know, no, no bungees there. The seat is actually a little bit more basic, though it is padded on the bottom. I guess that's one thing that they have nicer, but this is a little bit nicer, adjustable and higher. Uh, so there you're looking at the Tahoma versus the Boost. I'm just going to call this one out right now and go get the Tahoma. It's a better featured boat, comes with a paddle, comes with a hatch. And um, if you have a little bit more, go again over here with the similar hull, but fishing features in the Tamarack Angler. Uh, it's just one of my favorites. And I recommend a lot of friends just pick these up when they are looking to get out in the water. Lastly, we have a tandem from Lifetime, the Kokanee. This has been around for a while. And the first thing you kind of notice is the stern being square like that. It actually gives them two tracking channels, one on each side. So for being a short little sit on top tandem, it actually does track pretty well. And that's that extra width there allows you to, you know, put a little dog or some gear in the back. Um, this boat can also be shifted so that you can paddle it solo. It's got the seat there, so you can paddle it solo or have a small kid or a dog in front of you. And at 371, getting yourself and a child out on the water, it's not a bad choice. Again, not something that you're gonna go into big open water. Uh, this hatch is very basic. And uh, you know, if this thing was fully flipped over, I don't think that would keep water out of the boat. So again, a recreational sit on top. Um, you can secure it on this little hook, but that is, you know, frankly, something that I probably just wouldn't want in this boat. Just give me a drain plug. But, you know, some people see that as an asset. You can see the bungees up top and you can see the challenge. Um, and again, uh, where if boat is thrown around, those bungees can break. So brand new boat. And then once again, the Walmart challenge, of course, it's February. There's the sun. And these boats are all gonna get hammered here for a few months. Overall, gotta commend Lifetime and Walmart and Pelican for making this sport more approachable for many. And uh, if you see anything else different at your Walmart, leave it in the comments below and I'll get a look on it.